Okay, we here on a train in uh, certain to uh, showing us how to install a self adhesive uh, uh, membrane, uh, modified membrane, and uh, me and uh, James here with us and uh, Manette working on the details. Manette, what you doing there? <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so uh, James, tell us a little bit more what we actually going through here. So we're putting down our uh, base layer, our nail down layer, um, and installing a drip edge. Uh, on the drip edge, we put a self-adhering nine inch strip around the perimeter. Wanna point it to? This is our self-adhering nine inch strip around the perimeter. Uh, and that is put down with a 70 pound roller uh, to make sure that we get full adhesion and there's no air pockets. Uh, underneath this nine inch strip. Uh, on top of that, we are putting uh, yes, the certainty. Uh, what is the adhesive? It's, I think it's adhesive, but it's like a tar. So the self adhesive tar um, around the perimeter edge. Uh, and we're just going to put that down underneath so that, it's, um, so that it fully adheres underneath the drip edge. Uh, and you've got a little bit. Um, little bit coming out around the, the edge of it. Uh, you don't want to put too much. It's going to make a mess and you don't want to put too little. Okay, now another question. How, how about that uh, uh, base? We learned something that on uh, uh, decks like uh, wood or SV, plywood, it's important to use nail base instead, self-adhere uh, base. Right, so if the, if the wood decking expands and contracts uh, under thermal expansion, or contraction uh, differently than our uh, our modified layer, um, and it's self-adhered, so it's fully adhered to the wood decking. That's going to cause failure of um, of your underlayment. Um, so, if if you use a nail down or mechanical fastener. Uh, it's going to allow that expansion and contraction of the, the plywood decking underneath. Oh, also uh, another thing uh, we noticed, uh, it, uh, it certainly does different. They use a, a nail a metal cap instead of plastic caps on the nail base. Right, so the, the plastic caps are not as strong uh, and they fail under high winds. Yeah. You can notice too that our nailing pattern uh, we're going to do on seams every nine inches minimum space um, and in the center of our sheets we want two offset rows spaced on 18 inches. Um, around the perimeter, so our perimeter half sheet, we are going to do a six inches in from the edge. We're going to put down a row and you can't see them because we've already covered them up. Uh, we're going to put down fasteners every nine inches around the perimeter and then 18 inches uh, to the inside of that offset between our first seam. And then the uh, next overlap uh, we're going to repeat it with uh, uh, six inches. Oh no. No. Oh, nine inches. Nine inches. We're, we're going to do nine, nine inches, inches on over all overlap. And then 18 inches offset uh, for the two rows in between. Gotcha. And the drip edge, what do we do with the drip edge? Um, uh, on the drip edge we want two fasteners on our corner and then we want to do four inches offset um, around the entire edge of the roof. Uh, and that's another point to bring up. So with our underlayment uh, we want a four inch spacing between fasteners around the perimeter uh, of our of our underlayment. Yeah, and another important thing we learn here, like a 75 pound roller absolutely must on uh, uh, installing self-adhered uh, uh, base or cap. Uh, and uh, we want to show the piece of uh, pipe uh, flashing as well. Sure.
All right, so around our pipe flashing, we're going to do the same. We're going to put our mechanically attached um, first layer down, our base layer. And then we're going to use a self-adhered uh, layer, or fully adhered, around the base of the pipe. Then we're going to use our adhesive. Uh, so it's a, a tar product that's going to go around the, the pipe. Uh, and then we're going to set our lead boot. And we want to round our edges of all of these materials so that we don't end up with anything poking through um, our, our cap layer. And once we have our adhesive down, we set this and we prime the top of it and get it ready for our cap layer. Okay, perfect. I guess that's enough for first stage and we'll come back with the next video when we're going to install cap.